Greg Ehrenberg here from Odd Chopper, and it's time to break down another slate full of sports. We've got NBA playoffs and NHL playoffs underway, and then a big baseball slate that is going to span over the course of the entire day. So uh, let's start breaking down some of the best bets in our projections over at Odd Chopper. It is a market-based tool where we're taking the odds that are available at all different sports books, sharp books, recreational books, and we've got a weighted algorithm that based on historically how successful those different books have been in different markets, We've got an algorithm that's going to come up with the fair odds for each different market in terms of different spreads, player props, all of that. And then we're identifying the best odds available over in Odd Shopper and telling us what we should ultimately be betting. So I'm going to start with the NBA playoffs right now. And if you guys want access to Odd Shopper, we've got a seven day free trial available. You could get that by clicking on the link that we have below in the description box. Looking at today, there's Actually, one thing that kind of stood out to me, there's not a massive amount of NBA value right now. You know, we do have Giannis not expected to play, but I am maybe a little bit concerned that because it's the playoffs, he's listed as doubtful. Like, could he get upgraded later on the day? It is a possibility. So uh, at least as of now, I'm going to be avoiding anything to do with the Bucs just because of some of those concerns. And uh, the same goes with the Memphis Grizzlies because we've got John Morant listed as questionable. So if you look at Jaron Jackson Jr., his over-under is 23 and a half points. Some books have it at 22 and a half. FanDuel has it at 23 and a half. The under here looks great if John Morant plays, but if John Morant ends up sitting, I'm not going to feel great that I have unders on players from the Memphis Grizzlies. So that's definitely something that weighs on me. Bam Adebayo, really interesting with him, what we've seen in the playoffs, not just this year, but last year as well, where the usage hasn't really been there for him. He's been much less aggressive in some of these marquee spots. So I look at Bam Adebayo. I do like the under 20 and a half points. It's minus 120 on DraftKings, minus 125 on FanDuel. See, Bed Rivers and Utah have it at 19 and a half. So 20 and a half as the under over on DK. I do think that's a decent looking bet there. And then one other one here that we have on the board with 3% expected ROI, over 14 and a half points for Aaron Gordon. Gordon was great this year. He had what I consider to be the best season of his career. And Maybe there's been other years where his counting stats have been better, but considering the role he played with the Nuggets and you know just how much of a glue guy he was and the efficiency we saw from him this year, it's been a good year, and I expect a good postseason for Aaron Gordon. Bet MGM has over 14.5 points and minus 105. FanDuel has a similar line, minus 116, and then you see minus 121 at Bet Rivers, minus 115 at DraftKings. This is a bet that we have winning 53% of the time, so... You know, not like the greatest value in the world, but still a little bit of value. Aaron Gordon over 14 and a half points, I do think is worth betting for today. So let's look at NHL. Like I said, NBA, at least as of now, there's not a whole lot that stands out. A lot of that, though, is just due to the fact that there's so many players who are on the injury report and so many uncertainties. I don't really want to lock in my money this early in the day at the time I'm recording when I know that things could change later on. Looking at some of the NHL bets. And hey, look, our guy Ryan Hartman, we bet him the other day at plus 420 to score. It took a while to get there, but he ended up scoring. He scored the game-winning goal for the Wild in double overtime. C4 today, FanDuel has lowered the odds a little bit. He's gone from plus 420 to score to plus 380, but no other book has the odds higher, or longer, I should say, than plus 300. So Ryan Hartman, still some value there. Brent Burns shot on goals. Over 3.5 is plus 130 at FanDuel and DraftKings. Best lines available, other spots, plus 115, plus 125. So I do like Brent Burns for over three and a half shots on goal for his playoff game today. Uh, let's see, what else? Let's see if there's any other goals. Well, I'm not going to try to round his last name. Stefan Newson. A little bit of value here, though. You'll see FanDuel plus 460 It has this ad, and no other book has it longer than plus 340. So this is a goal scoring prop that I do think makes sense. It's not going to win a super high percentage of the time, but 19% win rate on a plus 460 bet that is good for a 9% expected ROI. Other goal scores here. Can, can we give me somebody who's got a name that's a little bit easier to pronounce? I'm going to call him JK, right? Those are his initials. He's plus, well, This is a massive amount of line shopping value, by the way. So we've got Katakanemi. Maybe that's how his name is pronounced. Nobody really knows. He looks a little bit like, I, he, he looks kind of like a European David Spade with the haircut here. He's got a mole too. David Spade doesn't know that. But either way, plus 450 to score a goal on FanDuel, whereas no other book has it wider than plus 290. So I got JK here. I think this is something worth looking at on FanDuel. 
on the Hurricanes, in case you're having trouble finding him. If you know how to pronounce his name, I don't believe you. Wyatt Johnston, we've got him for Dallas, plus 370 to score a goal, and it is plus 290 on the dot at every single other book. So another one where FanDuel has some uh, line value here that just stands out relative to other spots. So nothing else I really want to look at here, but yeah, you'll see there's a number of goal-scoring bets that are projecting well for us in Odd Chopper. And like I've been saying the last couple of days, this actually is our number one tracked ROI market. Goal scoring props, particularly on FanDuel, where there's a lot of outliers posted, been super profitable over the last couple of months. Let's see if there's anything that stands out for baseball. Ton of baseball games, and a lot of them happening during the afternoon. So if you guys are at home today, or we're just going to be working over the course of the day and you're looking for stuff to sweat, we've got a lot of baseball action. Let's see some stuff that stands out. So Griffin Canning under four and a half strikeouts is plus 110 on FanDuel. It is minus money on every other book. So we do have this winning more often than not, and it's a plus money bet. So uh, this is one that's a pretty high priority bet for me. It's actually going to be the first thing I bet as soon as I finish wrapping this up, just by looking at some of those odds there. Juan Soto over 0.5 total bases. Only one book, only one other book other than DraftKings has a lineup for this right now. But we just need one hit for Juan Soto at minus 140 odds. We do this winning north of 60% of the time. So it looks like pretty good value on Juan Soto. Alex Cobb over four and a half strikeouts against the Marlins. Yeah, this is minus 140 on BetMGM. The line is five and a half strikeouts on FanDuel, and it is minus 175 for over four and a half on DK. So Alex Cobb strikeouts, that definitely stands out a little bit. James Outman, spectacular prospect, and also off to a decent start to his rookie year for the Dodgers. Another guy, we only need him to reach base, or not reach base once, but one total base for him. Minus 125. Yeah, n- not a whole lot of data on terms of other books that have these up. So maybe want to wait a little bit later in the day until more books post their bases line. So the projections will be a little bit more accurate with more data. One more strikeouts prop here. Never feels great about taking a over for a strikeout if, for a pitcher at Coors Field. But still, Austin Gomber over three and a half strikeouts is plus money. And we have it winning 53% of the time, which is going to lead to some positive ROI. Let's look at prize picks. Make a prize picks parlay. One of the other features that we do have in uh, Odd Shopper here is that you could build parlays for any sports book, but then also for, for the pick em sites like prize picks, no house advantage. We've got them in here as well. And I'm going to take Nick Claxton out just because that is for tomorrow's game. I just want to focus on what we have for today. So Right here, I've got a five-leg flex parlay, which has a 5% expected win rate, good for a 17% expected ROI. If I change this to a power play, you'll see the win rate is 10%, but the expected ROI only 2% there. So, all right, back to the flex. And, yeah, we've got Jimmy Robertson for over three and a half shots on goal. I wanted to take the Nick Claxton out. Uh, Trey Turner, under one and a half total bases. Bam Adebayo, under 20 and a half points. Vossler for the Reds, over 0.5 total bases. Just need one hit out of him. Same for James Outman. Overall, got a five-leg flex parlay, 5% expected win rate, good for a 17% expected ROI. So we ran through the slate pretty quick there. Covered basketball, covered hockey. We covered baseball. If you guys have any questions for me, go check out Chalkboard. It is a chat app based, I'll say chat app geared towards sports betting, and it's totally free. It's free to download the app. It's free to join our channel. There's a link for that below. Take advantage of it and get in there. We post additional bets, answer questions, fun place to sweat bets. Other than that, if you guys haven't done it, do me a big favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you back here tomorrow.